Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is going to be a very fun-filled day of me breeding my past mares. I know it's not the most stimulating pastime that you could ever do on horse, but it's got to be done and I've put it off for a couple weeks now. We're midway into June, so I probably need to get on that and get that done because it just kind of helps with the assembly process if you try to breed them more towards the beginning of the month I think and especially if you get them all bred within like a day or two of each other because then they're actually aging up at the same time and it kind of doesn't really mess with your organizational system a bit so we're gonna we're gonna breed some past mares today we'll just stick with this i guess so first thing we're gonna do of course as always i've done this several times before is buy up wheat bran so i can keep my vet these low Twelve thousand. need a couple more let's see two thousand at least three thousand that should work okay well, I'm going to go buy more because otherwise when I'm doing lessons with them, I'll end up gaining that Equus right back and then I'll have to come back and I'll have to bank some more wheat bran. So we'll just get down to, how about 4,000? That'll work. Okay, we're going to pull up some stallions. I'm going to set up some covers first. We're going to advance search and I want, we can just do male, gender, that'll work. Um, How many do I want to breed? Well, I so we'll just, we'll just send out a bunch of covers. I don't really care if they get taken or not. All right. Wait for those to load. Close out the affixes that open up. And we'll start offering covers. I just go ahead and offer public covers because these are just kind of junk stallions, I guess you could call them. And I don't really care if their covers get taken. I'll make the money for it. So it's fine by me. You have to be careful once in a while because sometimes, like... There was one time I noticed that my Equus amount kept going up when I was breeding my horses and I didn't realize why and I realized somebody was buying up the covers, which I thought was pretty cool because they were just, you know, just random stallions I had. But then I realized that my vet fees kept getting a little bit higher because I kept getting money from coverings and so I was like, oops, which like I said, it didn't bother me, but it was kind of like, ah, no, I don't want to pay more for vet fees. Go back down. Okay, offering the covers is usually the quickest part because you can just sit here and just click this real quick. It's when you're actually going to cover your mares that the process is an absolute horrendous pain. But now the main reason if you're wondering, well, I've kind of explained before why I mostly keep mares because you know, you can keep less stallions. You actually, you can use like one stallion per two mares or so, depending on how many covers you offer. But kind of the big reason why I did start mostly keeping mares on international was that for quite a few months, I kept breeding loads of extra mares because then I would sell extra foals. And just from these, and that was even when I wasn't just breeding specifically for pass horses. Like I had a sort of consist consistent breeding and foaling schedule set up to where I was constantly breeding mares and then I was foaling them. Like I said, that was so I could sell the extra foals. And just with these kind of mediocre foals, I would make probably, I don't know, like 60, anywhere from 60 to 100,000 equus, depending on how many I sold. And that was just from the cheapest minimum. I'm going to take that bridle if I can catch it. Sure. And that was just from the cheapest minimum that the foals were going for. So that wasn't even counting the foals that had the rare coats, in which case, did I even offer him covers? Well, he was a draft, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I can't multitask very well, can I? <laughs> I get distracted very easily. I had foals that had rare coats, then I'd go in the sales and I'd see what most of them were selling for. And then I'd sell sell them and then make a little bit more out of them. But So that's why I used to keep, like, that was kind of like the big reason why I started mares. But after a while, when I started, and that was when my past farms were a lot smaller. And then I started getting bigger past farms so I could get more horses a month. We're going to pull up just all these that way then I can just cover as many as I can and once my past farm started getting bigger I just it became too much I had enough to deal with with just working my horses every day let alone me then having to cover extra horses and the way I name them I can pretty easily recognize that these are mine and if you're kind of in a lull when people aren't sending out their own coverings hopefully yours will just appear up at the top anyway and you don't have to do any 
searching. If you have VIP, it's really nice because then you can set up favorite searches and I have a VIP search set up on my international game where it's just searches for just kind of um, non-blupped horses because otherwise I don't really send out blupped coverings to my own horses. So then I can just easily search for my past stallions that have sent out covers and all I have to do is just click uh, my particular search that I have and I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm picking the wrong stallion or something. Which, if I pick somebody else's stallion, that's not a big deal. It's just the fact that you're going to end up paying an actual covering fee. Whereas with me, I'm not paying any covering fees. These are just vet fees. So yeah, it's not the most entertaining process in the world. But it's something that if you want to keep your pass assembly system up, you're going to have to do it once a month. And I suppose if you don't want to go through this, you could just go in the sales and buy the cheapest horses you can get. That's perfectly fine if you want to do that. I just, I pretty much spend all my Equus on international because I do collect retired coats and practically all my Equus tends to go to that. So I don't really want to have to worry about spending extra money on pass horses. So that's why I breed my own. And if you did have extra money to spend like I do on this server, because I don't really have any hobbies or projects for the most part. I mean, I bought a few expensive horses, but I still have plenty of extra money to spend because I'm not really buying anything else. And I've kind of thought about maybe just starting with horses that were already aged up, but I figured I'll just try to keep how I'll just try to keep my pass system as close as I can to how I would do that on international. So I guess 60 horses working every day isn't that bad. It's only, I think, less than six minutes was how I timed it that one day. So, you know, it's not that bad. And who knows, I might eventually want to save all that money eventually for some projects or something that I can do on here. And I did breed... There was a mare that I bred. Um, I showed her in one of my videos, the one that I placed top 100 in the Cutting Grand Prix competition a couple weeks back. I ended up breeding her to a public cover, to a stallion in the public covers, and I did tear her after I got her to 100 blup. And I kind of did a I'm just going to call it a discount skiller on the foal because I didn't have all the bonuses. Did I breed her? Yes, I did. Oops. I didn't have all the bonuses that you would ideally want. Like I was missing horseshoe studs. I don't have a fellow bell on here. I didn't have the extra Grand Prix bonuses that you can get because there's, I think, two or three. Oh, I didn't send out any drop covers. Okay. So because I don't have those extra grand prix bonuses from opening hops yet and um so i didn't have those let's see what what other bonuses was i missing well i didn't use a water of youth i sort of contemplated it i yeah i contemplated getting putting a water of youth on it because i did have a i did manage to board the horse in a 60 lesson 60 e lesson ec but i just didn't think it was really worth the point because I wasn't going to make it immortal. I don't have a Philosopher's Stone and I wasn't going to spend three passes to get one on here. I just didn't think it was really worth it. And it just wouldn't have been worth the time, the aging points that it would have spent and just my frustration levels because like aging a horse with the water of youth is just a nightmare, I think. So yeah, I just sort of did like a discount skiller. And um, I put him in the cutting Grand Prix because it was a Frisian foal and they're pretty good at, their skill set is designed for cutting on here. And it ended up, he got 29th, I think. So, you know, he did really good with that. I'm really happy. And his dam got 90 something. So she's still, her skills are still high enough that she was able to place in the top 100 in the Grand Prix again this week. So... Which, if you'll notice, I still have the fountain, and this is actually that I'm recording this a week after I 
got the fountain previously. So I did last week manage to unlock the fountain again for a second week in a row. And I'm hoping now with pretty much those two alone, since they both placed uh, top 100. Whoops, that's not my horse. Okay, that's all my horses. Yay, I'm all done. So yeah, he did get the, the colt that I bred. I gelded him. He did end up placing 29th in the Grand Prix for the cutting competition. I was really happy about that. Okay, that's all my horses, all my mares. Let's see. Let's just see how many I've got. That should be enough. I mean, I offered like a ton of covers. So let's see. In full. All right. I've got hello oh search 22 okay that'll that'll be more than enough because really i only need 10 and if i just want to keep full or fillies hopefully that will you know i'll maybe i'll get lucky it'll be like an even half and half but e either way whichever ones i don't keep i can end up selling them so that was me covering a bunch of mares i don't think it took as long as i thought it was going to but yep that's my one of my monthly chores on here covering my mares and then in a few days I will be folding them I think it's the folding process that's even more of a pain because you have to name it real quick and then put it in the breeding farm and then take care of it so folding's even worse I'm... anyway that was it for today guys and I will talk to you soon bye <laughs>